Mr. Clown here from Clown Maths. Today we're going to do a video without me being on camera. I thought we would try that and see if there's any difference at all to how you feel the, the lesson goes. If you think that um, you're more engaged, it's easier to follow with me being on camera or if it's easier without. Give it a go, see how you get on, leave a little comment and let me know how you felt about that. And let's go straight into the video right now. Just a reminder of our circle theorems, we have got a triangle formed by two radiuses and a chord is isosceles. So if we've got two radiuses here, or radii, and we make a triangle with the chord, we get an isosceles triangle. A tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. A radius makes a, a radius, so it makes a tangent at right angles. And the last one, if we've got a diameter making a semi in a semicircle, and we end up making a triangle, then we end up with a right angle triangle getting formed. Now we can summarize that in a little checklist, and I usually like to use isosceles to remind me of the isosceles property, tangent to remind me of the tangent property, and semicircle to remind me of the semicircle property. And I'll always use this checklist from now on in questions involving these types of properties. So let's go on to about three or four examples and then give you some work to try. Example 1. It says PQ is a diameter, calculate angle SQR. So we always identify our angle first. There's S to Q to R, S to Q to R. So it's this angle here, which we can just mark on. And there it is marked. And then we start off with our check. This now is we'll always start with tangent because it's the most obvious one. I'm looking for a line outside the circle. There's no line outside the circle, so there's no tangent, and I'm not using that rule. So I go on to my next one, which is semicircle. I look to see if there's a diameter, and if there is, I then just try and join up to make a triangle. And there's the right angle. I can just mark it on there. Always check to see if there's more than one. In this case, there is. Diameter, and then another triangle. So there's a right angle right here. And then our last property. Tick that. I saw so these, I'm looking for two separate radiuses where there's only a diameter, so I'm not using that property. So in this case, it's just one rule. Angles in a semicircle give a right angle. And then we just start filling in angles. Now, we always note where your angle is that you're looking for is here. So try and get ones that are close to that. So if I look at this, there's a big triangle here. I've got one angle, two angles, so I can always find the third angle. So let's just try that. 90 plus 47 is 137 degrees. So I need to do 180 minus 137, which is 43 degrees. So I now know that this whole angle here is 43, so I know that this one must be 23 degrees. So we've answered the question now, because that is the angle we're looking for, angle SQR equals 23 degrees. Let's look at a second example. We have got ABC as a tangent, calculate DCB. So let's first of all identify DCB, DCB, there it is there. We'll just mark that very briefly. And then we go to our checklist. The question mentions tangent, so let's look for tangent first. Tangent meets a radius at right angles. So there's 90 there, and the other side is going to be 90. So I can immediately know this angle because that plus 20 is 90. So we've got 70 degrees. We'll tick this one and then look for semicircle. Well, there's no diameter, so there's no semicircle. And then the last one, isosceles, two radiuses, join it up to make a triangle. So there's the isosceles triangle there. So that means if I zoom in, this one angle here is also 70 degrees because it's isosceles triangle. Don't make the mistake of thinking that this is an isosceles triangle necessarily. It's two radiuses. This from here to here is not a radius. Finish off ticking my checklist and then fill in missing angles where I can. So again, we're trying to find this angle here. So if we look here, we've got a triangle. If I knew that angle, I've got this one, I'd be able to find this one. Angles on a straight line add up to 180. So I know 
we've got 110 here because 110 plus 70 is 180. And then we can find it out now because 110 plus 20 is 130. So C must equal 50 degrees. Let's check the question. Angle DCB. So angle DCB equals 50 degrees. Example 3. ABC is a tangent. Calculate angle FBD. So we're trying to identify our angle first. FBD. There it is here. So we're looking for this whole angle here. Looking at our checklist then, we'll start with tangent. Tangent meets a radius at right angles. So I automatically know that these two angles have to add up to 90. So if I do 90 minus 58 degrees, we get 32. So I can immediately mark on that side. I've got half the question done. We know the other side will also be a right angle, but since these two angles are unknown, we can't really say anything about that just yet. So we'll just tick it. We've not nothing else we can do. The next one, semicircle, diameter, right angle, triangle. And it'll be the same on the other side, diameter, right angle, triangle. And the last one, isosceles, where we can't actually do anything with that because there's not two separate radiuses on their diameter. So now we try and fill in as much as we can using the rules we know. Angles in a triangle are up to 180, so looking at the left-hand side triangle, we've got 90, we've got 30, 90 and 30 is 120. So 180 minus 120 is 60 immediately mark that one there is 60 degrees and we're done because we've now got the full angle so we can answer the question angle f b d equals 92 degrees let's look at one final example and this will be the most difficult example of the lot ps is a diameter qr is a tangent calculate angle srq so let's identify srq S to R to Q, there it is there. So it's this one down here. Let's move over and look at our checklist. Starting with tangent, as always. Tangent meets a radius at right angles. Tangent, tangent, sorry, radius. So this is a right angle, but we know nothing about these two angles, so we can't really mark it on. And similar on this side. But what we could do is just do a little box there just to remind us that we might use that later. Little question mark. Let's move on to a semicircle. So we're looking for a diameter. Diameter makes a right angle triangle. So there's a whole big right angle triangle. So we now know that if we use a different colour for this, these two angles make a right angle. If I look that up a little bit bigger, that should be obvious. And we've we'll used that rule. And the last rule, isosceles, two radiuses make an isosceles triangle. So we've got an isosceles triangle here, but we've also got one here. Because that's the same as well. So we can now start filling in some missing angles. Starting off with our isosceles, that means that this little angle down here is 28 degrees because this one up here is 28 degrees. So they're both the same. So we've now got a bit of this, but we know that that's a right angle. So we can do 90 minus 28 to get 62. So we can mark on that this side is 62 degrees. Staying in this triangle, since it's isosceles, we know that over here is also going to be 62. Try and get closer and closer to our target, which is way down here. Let's try and get the one next to it then. Angles on a straight line add up to 180. So I can do 180 minus 62, little sum at the side. Which is 118 degrees, and I can mark right here. So we've got one angle inside this triangle, 
And so if we had this one down here, we would be okay. Now remember, I left this as a note for myself to remind me. If you go back, tangent, am I going to use that? Well, I am using it because radius tangent. We know that this whole thing here is 90. So if I do 90 minus 62, which is 28 degrees, that's going to give me this one down here. And now we're done. Because if you watch, we've now got this triangle. We've got two angles. Angles in a triangle out to 180. So if I do, and I'll use a different colour, 118 plus 28. It's 146. Then this angle here must be 180 minus 146. Which, we'll just do some maths actually for a change. Ball 7, 10, so we get 4 and 3, 0, 34. Now we've answered the question. So angle SRQ. equals 34 degrees. And that was the most complicated question. We had to use almost all three rules to do it. So that's about as hard as it gets. Here's some questions for you to try. So the first four questions here are using either one or two rules or not use all four. So give them a go. Pause the video here when you're done. Come back and see how you did. And here are the answers. Hope you did well on them. So these ones might use more rules or they might use more complicated rules like this one is going to use angles on parallel lines, Z or F angles. Give these one a go, pause the video here to complete your task and come back when you're done. And once again, he, these are the answers. Hope you did well on them. Mr Glenn here today we've been looking at circle theorems. I'm hoping that that was helpful for you. Please give a little thumbs up and a like and subscribe to this channel and take care, stay safe and goodbye.